If you're watching this video because you want to install the Google Play Store on your Fire Stick, Fire TV or Fire Tablet, you'll be disappointed to hear that no matter what you've read or tried online, it's just not possible. However, there are alternatives that are duplicates of the Google Play Store and these can easily be installed on Fire Sticks, Fire TVs and Fire Tablets. In this video, I'll show you how to install them to replicate the Google Play Store on your Fire device. So stick with me and let's check it out. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. Now I know that it can be frustrating that Amazon limits the Fire Stick, Fire TV and Fire Tablet users only to download apps from the Amazon App Store. Now whilst there are thousands of apps available, it's no comparison to the millions of apps that are on the Google Play Store. Since the Fire Stick was released, there have been numerous online tutorials on how to install the Google Play Store, but this also required installing Google Framework and the Google Play services. Not only did all of this take up a lot of space on the Fire Stick, but it also resulted in many Fire Sticks becoming bricked and unusable. Now, recent actions taken by Amazon have since prevented users from doing this. And there are many reasons why Amazon doesn't give you access to the Google Play Store on your Fire Stick, mainly due to legal and licensing issues. Plus, there's also the fact that millions of apps in the Google Store are designed to work specifically on Android and touchscreen devices. In those cases, those apps won't work correctly on the Fire Stick anyway. At least not without having additional apps to change your screen orientation and navigate using a virtual mouse. So as you now know, you can't have the Google Play Store on your Fire device, but you can install a replica instead. Naturally, this replica isn't available from the Amazon App Store, but that won't stop you. Amazon devices, including Fire tablets, can install other apps by sideloading, and I'll show you just how easy that is. Using the Downloader app, you can get an alternative app store from my website. If you don't have the Downloader app already installed, install it from the Amazon App Store by searching and installing it. Or if you're using a Fire tablet, open a web browser and go directly to my website, firetvsticks.com, tap on the menu, and select Downloads. If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Wait a few seconds for my downloads page to load, then press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Tap down the screen to view a list of categories. Tap on the app stores category and then you'll be taken to a list of alternative app stores for your Fire Stick. I recommend using Aptoid TV on a Fire Stick or Fire TVs as it's one of the best and easiest to use. You can try any of these other stores, but not all of them will work correctly on the Fire Stick or be regularly updated. The Aurora store, for example, is difficult to use without a mouse toggle and can cause your Fire Sticks and Fire TVs to crash or get stuck on the permissions or install screen. It's not one that I would recommend you waste your time on trying. Oh, and as a side note, please don't try to install the Amazon App Store onto an Amazon device. There's obviously no need, it's already on your device. I know it sounds obvious, but there are a few that have tried. This could brick your device and make it unusable. Select the app store that you want to install. In this example, I'm using Aptoid TV. Then on the next screen, 
move down until you see a blue download button that looks like this. Select it to download the APK or installation file, then click on install to install the app. Once it's installed, click done, then click delete and delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required. You'll need to change your Fire Stick permissions to allow the alternative app store to install apps. So head into your Fire Stick settings, choose My Fire TV, Developer Options. If Developer Options are missing for you, click on the video in the link above me or in the description down below. Install Unknown Apps. Then select the app to turn the permission on. You can then go into your app screen and open the alternative app store from there. AppToy TV is straightforward to use. Make sure when you open it that you select allow and this will allow AppToy TV to access your device. Otherwise, it won't be able to save the downloaded app files. Then once you're in, it's simply a case of browsing around, looking at the categories and installing apps. Once you've selected an app, you can either look at other versions, view more information, and hit the install button to install any new apps. I hope that this video has answered the question, can you install the Google Play Store on your Fire Stick? And shown you that there are some alternatives. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.